All right, so this knot still works. It's just not as cooperative because of the type of material. With my left hand side, I'll form my ampersand. My right hand side, I'll form my bite. I'll thread it through that first loop, open up my bite and go around the second loop and pull everything tight. Now, when I pull it all tight, I'm grabbing onto these two strands on my right hand side and my thumb loop. I just wanna make sure that when I pull it tight, this free end isn't slipping all the way through. And if you take a look on the back side of the knot, when I pull on the free end, it starts to pull on the loop. If I were to pull on these two pieces, that is the most effective way to loosen and tighten this knot. So I'm gonna grab onto those two pieces. I'll grab onto my free end on the other side and I'll pull in my tension. There we go, that's gonna stay tight. Now to loosen it up, same thing, this portion of the knot right here, you can see that it slips through. I'll grab onto that free end. I'll grab onto that side of the thumb loop and I just pull myself some slack. There we go. That was probably a little bit too much, but I can always go back and add more if I need to. So in my original video, I showed you that you form an ampersand with your left hand side. With the right hand, you form a loop, thread it through one, go over the other and pull everything tight. All right, we're just going to leave this right here. So a sheep bend is a classic knot. Every Boy Scout knows it. It works very well to join two different ropes together. So to do it, I'll form a bite on one side. I'll thread through the other. I'll go around and then I'll pick up this portion here and thread it underneath. And now I have my sheep bend. Now the reason this knot is so stable, it's because it's identical to a bowline. In fact, if I bring over a bowline and I'll put them right next to each other, you see that they're the exact same knot. And the interesting thing about the bowline is I can pull either strand and it stays stable. And so that's what we're taking advantage of here with this gym shorts knot. In fact, if I pull this out, you'll see that we still have our bowline configuration. You have a better idea of what's going on here. So let's take a look at that blue scrubs footage again. So here we have some basic hospital scrubs. Now the drawstrings, when I first purchased them, they were cross draw, meaning that they were poking out of the opposite side holes. So I just pulled them out so that they're on the same side. With my left hand side, I'll form my ampersand. My right hand side, I'll form my bite. I'll thread it through that first loop, open up my bite and go around the second loop and pull everything tight. Now when I pull it all tight, I'm grabbing onto these two strands on my right hand side and my thumb loop. I just wanna make sure that when I pull it tight, this free end isn't slipping all the way through. And if you take a look on the back side of the knot, when I pull on the free end, it starts to pull on the loop. If I were to pull on these two pieces, that is the most effective way to loosen and tighten this knot. So I'm gonna grab onto those two pieces. I'll grab onto my free end on the other side and I'll pull in my tension. There we go, that's gonna stay tight. Now to loosen it up, same thing, this portion of the knot right here, you can see that it slips through. I'll grab onto that free end. I'll grab onto that side of the thumb loop and I'll just pull myself some slack. There we go. That was probably a little bit too much, but I can always go back and add more if I need to. So here we have some performance type scrubs. They're made out of stretchy material and the drawstring is made out of the same. I'll take my left hand side and I'll form in my ampersand. With my right hand side, I'll form a bite thread it through that first loop, and then go over the top of the second loop and pull everything tight. Now, this is way too loose. If I wanna add in some tension, I'll just grab onto my thumb loop and my free end here, and I'll pull everything tight. Now, if this is too tight, same thing. I'll grab onto my thumb loop and my free end, and I'll pull in some slack, and everything stays tight. So the gym shorts knot is actually a sheep bend, but since we poke this free end back through, it's now a slipped sheep bend. So here's an easy modification you can do to make the knot work a little easier for you. I'm just gonna take an overhand knot, and when I pull in my ampersand, I'm gonna keep it on the outside. I'll take a bite on my other side, thread it through and over, and pull everything tight. And now, when I wanna adjust it, I don't need to gather up this side, I can simply pull on my thumb loop and pull in the tension. When it resets, it tightens up again. If I want to pull in some slack, just grab onto the thumb loop and pull in my slack. And of course, it still comes apart just as easy. So unfortunately, this modification works best with larger diameter rope. 
I haven't had much luck getting it to work with actual gym shorts. Here we have some cute little buzzing bee ribbon. It looks like it's pretty slick. So we're gonna try it, see what we get. Tying my ampersand on my left hand side. Right hand side, I'll form a bite. Slip it through one loop, go over the top of the other, and pull it tight. All right. So now let's see if we can keep our tension when I pull it tight. Yep, the knot has set and it's good. Let's make sure we're pulling on the correct side. Yep, that's gonna be the correct side. Now I'm gonna pull in my tension. Yep, still good. Now let's pull in our slack. Yep, still good. Now let's release our knot. I'll work with this.